past, I've covered Tailwind UI and how we can interact with it in a Rails application. However, recently, Tailwind Plus has come out as a replacement to Tailwind UI, but it's not just a direct replacement or a rebranding, but instead it adds a lot of new features. So it is built upon Tailwind UI and it brings a lot of additional features. So in this episode, we're going to be diving into that and how we can consume it within our Rails application and what it could look like as far as the stimulus controllers we would have to add and everything else. And for this example application, we are going to be using Rails 8, but then we're also going to be using import maps. But if you're using Bun, ES Builder similar, then it's going to work just as well. And keep in mind that Tailwind Plus is paid. So it is something where it will cost you something, but you do get lifetime access. I originally purchased this several years ago when it was under Tailwind UI, but the access has seamlessly been converted over to Tailwind Plus. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.